frying pan? Just kidding. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's back, baby. We are back for episode three of Wine and Dine. I'm so excited because I love all things French. I don't know why, I just have an affinity for French things. So we are making a tortier, which is a French Canadian meat pie. And we are pairing that with a wine from France, specifically the Pays d'Oc region. The Pinot Noir, light and fruity to go well with some pork, hopefully. The maker of this wine is Philippe de Rothschild. Don't let me down and let's pour it. No appetizer today, unfortunately because I had the perfect appetizer, but then all the things that I wanted to pair the tortilla with were like the same ingredients. So we're pairing the tortilla with a arugula pickled beet salad, some balsamic glaze, some candied walnuts, some goat cheese, get excited. <laughs> first things first, preheat that oven to 375. I guess I should try the wine, whoopsies. Too excited. Here we go. This is a red. <laughs> I'm a white wine person, so I'm taking one for the team here. <laughs> Just kidding. It's also a late dinner today. So this is gonna hit me really hard, really fast. We're gonna cheat and use a ready-made pie shell. First things first, we're gonna cut up the onions. No, first things first. First first. We're going to make some mashed potatoes. We're gonna mix the mashed potatoes with the meat filling. Let's rinse these bad boys so we're not eating some soil. Let's cut these potatoes into quarters. Better to have more potatoes than not enough potatoes. I, my biggest fear is that this meat pie is gonna be liquidy when you cut into it. Pies are such a gamble. Never bring a meat pie to a potluck <laughs> or any pie. You never know until you cut into it. water, add some salt, and turn the stove top on high. We're gonna start preparing our filling by first, we're gonna saute some garlic and onions and celery. Sorry, I just have PTSD from the last time I cut an onion on camera. Ah! I can't even look anymore. And I'm thinking I wanna get my glasses. These are my Oakley running shades. Get a frying pan. Add some olive oil. Take me seriously. Gosh darn it. Just gotta cut up some onions. Okay, glasses are starting to get penetrated. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> that did not do anything for me. Taste of wine, that was traumatic. Half an onion is the consensus. Add that to your and four cloves of garlic. Never do a wine dine without an appetizer. I'm starving. We got a big old thing of celery. I'm not gonna use all this. I'm thinking we'll do two stalks of celery and make Caesars instead. Change of plans. I want the celery to be like really thin so that you're not getting like a chunk of celery. The goal is it for the goal is it the goal is for it to be a minced kind of pie situation. I'm actually gonna go through one more time and just cut it up into even smaller pieces. Potatoes are boiling, so just let it boil. I'm gonna set a timer actually in my head. <laughs> I don't like to set a timer when the oven's in the middle of preheating, so I feel like it just, I don't know. Add the celery. Take a sip of wine and Oh my gosh. Get your fork ready. So we got our warm spices, we got our cinnamon, our nutmeg, and our allspice. We're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of all of those. Salt and pepper to taste. And herbe de Provence. We'll do either one or two teaspoons of this. We're just trying to give all of the onions and garlic and celery a little head start. A lot of people mix beef with pork for their tortilla recipes, but Pork was on sale and I can't resist a bargain. I have a rule, I never pay full price for anything. <laughs> We're gonna just dump these in the pan, you know? Who cares? Potatoes are done. Make sure that you save the water 
from your potatoes, we're gonna use the water into the filling mixture. Let's add the spices so that as we mix the pork, it's like mixing evenly. So quarter of a teaspoon for cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice. Salt and pepper. He's seasoning, not the band. Two teaspoons of herb de Provence. Continue breaking up the pork into smaller pieces. Get your potato masher of choice. Oh my gosh. Where did all the wine go? You might need a bigger skillet. I feel like I need a little bit more salt. I just have a feeling, very intuitive. Add the mashed potatoes and the liquid into the meat mixture. Two and a half cups of potatoes. I'm gonna add a little bit more spice. I'm gonna go in with a quarter teaspoon again of all three, so a total of half a teaspoon of the warm spices. Remove it from heat, let it cool a little bit. Okay, let's candy our walnuts for a little snackaroo. I'm just gonna use a full bag. This is a 100 gram bag. It looks like about a cup. We're going to mix them with coconut oil and some sugar. Once the walnuts have browned a little bit, they start to get a little bit harder. That's when I removed it from the heat. Let's get this pie in the oven. Okay, grab a nine inch pie dish. I'm just gonna get some paper towel and like olive oil the inside of my dish. Okay, so we're using this. We're just gonna like flip it like that. Okay, let's put our filling in here. We probably have too much filling, but I can just put the rest in the fridge, whatever you have left over. Oh my goodness, I could make like two full pies. Okay, I think we can make this work. <laughs> and voila! <laughs> it's just not gonna be like that connected, but let's get a fork. And just kind of try to press it together. Okay, it's not gonna look pretty, but it's probably gonna taste really good. That's the way it goes. Let's do some slits. Some nice cute little slits on the top. Whip up an egg real quick and just beat it and do like a little egg wash. All right, here she goes. Whoa, it's very heavy in the oven. All right. Set that timer for 45 minutes. We'll start preparing the salad about halfway through. 10 minutes left to go. Let's clean up and check back in a bit. Welcome back, it is time to check the tortilla. We're gonna set the timer for five more minutes. We're gonna make the balsamic glaze now. Super simple, all we're gonna do is add some sugar and balsamic vinegar and then just like reduce it. A balsamic reduction. Pretty much plating now. We're just gonna keep it simple. Arugula, beets, goat cheese. <laughs> One second. <laughs> For episode three, we got three beets. There you go. Um, I should have a fork to cut these, but I don't want a dirty fork. Add the beets to your salad. I'm just gonna rip it into pieces, I guess. Just like they do at the restaurants. <laughs> Add some of your candied walnuts. So we're gonna do that little glazing action. I'm gonna use this fancy dessert knife. We are Cutting our pie. Moment of truth. Is it gonna be liquidy inside? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We did it! <laughs> Success! Let's try the salad. Perfect pairing. Killed it. That wraps up episode three of Wine and Dine. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you try this recipe. Full recipe is on dietitianillustrated.com. Until next time, cheers. Clink.